yesterday as well. So that's the kind of action that we are looking at in the mid-cap space, Sadanda. Well, I do stay on here. We've been joined by the management of uh, Omax. Has had a very uh, mixed quarter. The stock is down about uh, about two tenths of a percent, in fact, uh, as we speak. Uh, and I'm being joined by the management to run us through how this quarter has uh, been. Uh, uh, Mohit Goel, CEO of Omax Limited, uh, joining us on the phone. And Mohit, thanks for speaking with us here on Bloomberg TV India. I have my colleague here uh, who's uh, joining me on this conversation. Very quickly, just run us through what has happened this quarter. I noticed your PAT is up about 41%. Total income is up just about 8%. Where is your EBITDA has taken a bit of a beating? So, yeah, turnover for this quarter, we reached around 410 crores. And PAT, as you said, it is up by 40%. Uh, if you compare with the last quarter last year, it's around 19 crores. Uh, I think uh, looking at the sentiments in the market and looking at the whole industry of the whole country, we are doing fairly well um, going upside and um, the revenues which we are uh, able to get, we are, uh, we are present in around 22 cities. And tier two, tier three story which we've been saying to the market since almost three years, we're concentrating in these uh, tier, two, two, tier two, tier three cities where uh, the actual demand of real estate is there. We are able to get our revenues from these cities. The major contributors to, these turn to this turnover this quarter was in from Chandigarh, Lucknow, Ludhiana, and Faridabad. So we're doing fairly well. This is Hiral on this side. Now we know that you know the revenues have been pretty strong in this quarter. However, the average prices have gone down and even the value of bookings has gone down by almost 15%. So are you seeing prices of real estate trickling lower? What's your expectation in terms of where prices are concerned going ahead as well? Hiral, this uh, quarter on quarter basis you cannot actually uh, judge about for the real estate of the country because Generally, our average price reduces or it goes up depending on the quarter that if we sold more built-up area, the average price would go up. If we sold more plotted area in this quarter, the average price will go down. So this particular quarter, we sold of a plotted project in Chandigarh. That's the reason you see the average price is down. Next quarter, probably, you'll, if we'll, see, we'll sell more of built-up, you'll see average price going up. Uh, so this is not related to the fact that, okay, the prices are going down or up. And uh, so if I talk about uh, the, the locations where we are present, we are seeing an upside in prices of around 20% if we compare with the prices last year. Okay. okay. Uh, you're talking about uh, tier two cities and uh, tier three uh, towns and uh, you know, the kind of growth that you're expecting from there. Uh, what is going to be the contribution specifically from these areas in which uh, you know, uh, sort of expansion uh, uh, geographically can you talk about in terms of tier two and tier three? So we're majorly focusing on two states. Uh, one is uh, UP, Uttar Pradesh, and second is Punjab. And in UP, we're concentrating in Lucknow and Allahabad. And Punjab, we're concentrating in Chandigarh and Ludhiana. So these are the major contributors to our revenues, and these will be the major contributors in future. But very soon, we will be, uh, we are hoping to launch a project in Delhi NCR. We are figuring out uh, scouting lands in uh, Noida, Faidabad, and Gurgaon. So, uh, Soon, the Delhi NCR will also be the major contributor to our revenues. So I'm expecting of around 1,500 to 2,000 crores revenues coming from tier two, tier three cities, and around 1,000 crores coming from Delhi NCR. So this is a very bullish figure to give in the market right now. But next two years, our target is to take our revenues to 2,500 to 3,000 crores. Mohit, if you see the segmental breakup, we see that majority of your revenues are coming from the real estate space and there has been no revenue bit in terms of where construction is concerned. So are you stopping in, you know, your outlook in terms of where construction is concerned and just concentrating on real estate going ahead now? Oh, Max Limit is, has been in real estate only and uh, we had our infrastructure company which we sold off almost one year back. So it's just real estate we are concentrating on. Okay. okay. Uh, what's the festive season demand? So there is no contribution in revenue in terms of construction. Okay. What's the uh, what's the festive season demand looking like, uh, Mohit? Uh, can you run us through what's the uptick you've seen? I really don't see any festive season affecting uh, sales. You know, real estate has become really, I would say, very uh, basic. Like a, a good developer selling good product at good location at right price, he's able to sell whether it's festivities or not, it doesn't matter. 
if it is vice versa, not a good developer, not a good product, not a good rate, he's not able to sell. So it's a buyer's market all, all throughout. Festivities, I don't think so. It's, it's given any, any good thumbs up to any other developer of this industry. Uh, Mohit, we know that your gross debt right now is close to around 1,270 crores and your finance cost has reduced in this quarter. So have you managed to repay any amount of debt in this quarter? Yes, whatever repayment was done, it was done through internal accruals and we kind of increased our debt by 150 crores this quarter. If you see last six months, uh, we are doing that to increase our construction pace and deliver maximum of our projects. If you see, we, did, we took a target of delivering 5 million square feet of area this year. We've already delivered 3.8 million square feet in, order, in, in the last six months. So I think we'll reach around 6.5 6 million square feet of deliveries this year. We are majorly concentrating on delivery because uh, delivery is something which is helping us to sell. It is, uh, it is helping us to uh, build our image in all these locations where we present. So we want to focus on deliveries big time. All right, Mohit, uh, wish you all the luck on that then. Uh, that's the management of OMAX speaking first right here on Bloomberg TV India. The stock is down about two tenths of percent and it's been a little bit of a mixed quarter for the company. Uh, very quickly, before we go to the management of PTC, Nuatis is earnings coming out. Uh, the stock is uh, now surging is up about almost three percent on the back of the numbers that we've seen. Uh, Han has, uh, from at least the headline figures that I'm picking up, a smart increase in its part 104 versus 14 crores on a Novartis. Stock is rallying on that. They've seen an exceptional gain, so that's probably...